All right, this is a quick um, quick video about the Aineng SZ08 cheap multimeter. Um, this is a manual range multimeter, not a auto, auto ranging one. It, uh, it comes with this um, cool box that you can put it this way to be pro to protect it. Uh, when you're carrying your tool bag or if you want to use it um, and you need the uh, holder or base you can use it like this and it comes with a stand it's pretty cool for the price I bought it for eight ten bucks um, in that range of uh, price uh, you can't go wrong with it. Um, it has a loud uh, buzzer. It comes with this shitty probes, like all of them do. Um, these are very weak, and uh, they're. Uh, I I won't trust them about uh, in main testing main voltage. Um, I, I also bought these Unity brand cheap probes these are way better still not probe masters or anything but um, these come with brass plated probably not gold I don't think so um, leads all right let's um, I want I wanted to show you some functions that uh, you might have not seen um because the manual doesn't tell you about and who the fuck reads the manual anyways all right um the first function is that this multimeter has a um offset or null um for the probes resistance and uh, how you do uh, do that is uh for example if you wanted to test a very low resistance so, uh, part and I don't recommend it because it's not accurate but it, let's say if you wanted to do that um, <clears throat> normally what you you, you will see uh, is that um, multimeter normally reads the lead resistance but uh, in higher uh, higher grade multimeters you can offset that basically uh, subtract the resistance of these leads from the reading and here uh, yeah. <clears throat> how you do is is you press and hold this uh, not not hold this you just press the uh, select button and it shows a little delta sign up there and that's how you null the uh, meter from the resistance um, another function that it has <coughs> Uh, it's the battery um, battery testing function and you have to put it in the milliamp range to do that and basically what it does is uh, that puts a very little uh, very high resistance across the uh, battery kind of like um, the uh, low impede low Z range that some uh, meters have and uh, it helps to load the battery a little bit so you can get a actual um, more accurate reading so you can see it's 1.38 1 1.39 volts in the battery mode but if I put it in the normal voltage reading mode it should read higher because there is no load on it let's see you can see uh, it shows 1.5 volt in the normal voltage mode, but it shows about 1.38, uh, 1.4 in the battery specified mode, which put just puts a resistor across the battery. Um, it's a basic function, but still cool. I like it. <coughs> um, also, uh, let's see how the continuity does. I don't like this type of continuity. Um, it's not bad actually.
yeah, just get a decent probe lead uh, when you buy it and throw these um, shitty probes away. It solves the uh, lagging continu continuity problem. Um, another function that it has and the manual doesn't talk about it is it's that uh, normally when you turn it on there is a timer uh, icon here you can see a little clock type icon but it means that it's uh, the uh, auto auto turn off of the device is functional all right normally it's on and it will uh, turn the multimeter off after a while all right when you doing um, some measurements on your desk or something <coughs> you uh, and you don't want the meter to turn off you can disable that how you do is you just uh, press and hold the select button and then just turn on the meter you see the icon is now gone and this will uh, run until the batteries die all right no auto uh, auto auto uh, off function now and um, it beeps three times to confirm that when you turn it on see that means that uh, the auto auto off is disabled all right the other function is the non-contact voltage detection ncv um, how it does that is uh, very crappy and shitty but um, it's uh, it's fine for detecting cables and stuff but um, I don't really like it but it's it's better to have it and to be, uh, to not to have it let me uh, demonstrate how it works <coughs> uh, here I have a uh, soldering iron unplugged all right now if I test this you see it doesn't detect it all right it shows nothing but watch what happens when I plug it in I'm plugging it in right now you see now the uh, sensitivity is very very low and um, that's because you're not giving the uh, meter any reference to detect the mains voltage but if you want it to be useful you can just hold it uh, in your hand or plug the ground uh, the um, common lead in and it will do a much better job let me demonstrate as you can see it doesn't detect it right now all right let me check it if it's yeah it's plugged in all right but if I hold it in my hand and approach it, it gives a better reading, all right? Now, it doesn't tell me the voltage or anything. It just shows me four bars and that corresponds to how close I am to the cable, all right? Let's see. Okay, and if you want to get a even more um, accurate reading you, what you can do is just plug the common lead in then, all right this is the probe I just put it in the common all right now if I this is uh, this is not standard and it's uh, it might be dangerous although it shouldn't be but uh, take precaution um, uh, the body is insulated totally there is no metal and these uh, keys are uh, non-conductive so in theory it shouldn't be any dangerous any more dangerous than testing it without the lead but um, just use common sense all right <clears throat> um, as you can see it shows two bars when I'm holding the lead and uh, not touching it but if I touch it you see it goes up um, 
and that's uh, that's basically uh, because I'm giving it a reference uh, to ground basically so um, I don't want to test the ranges and shit test the accuracy uh, there are multiple videos on the internet that does that um, it's a cheap meter what do you expect it's eight ten dollars it won't be any accurate but uh, it will be usable um, for basic stuff what I like about this meter is that uh, one in that price range it has a uh, auto off function Two, let me unplug the iron all right two <clears throat> number two is it's very slim and if you take out uh, the uh, protective case it's still usable and um, the battery case the battery compartment uh, lid is um, uh, it's separated from the case so um, you can take just the meter out and uh, put it in your tools bag and number three is it comes with this um, <coughs> case that you can use to hold your probes let me demonstrate these are the probes all right you can put your probes at uh, the same place as your meter all right this is the probe it will unlatch it I don't normally do this because my tool bag is very big but if you wanted to do that you can and it's very nice and a uh, smart design to use the extra space all right you can do this Okay, and now you can carry both your uh, meter and the leads. Okay, this is one way, and if you want to protect the uh, uh, the screen and the buttons and stuff, you can do this. Basically, it's sealed, um, and you no longer will scratch the surface and the writings off uh, the other thing is that uses double A's instead of the uh, 9 volt batteries I don't like the 9 volt, volt batteries uh, they have advantages and disadvantages in the cheap um, meter market the advantage is <clears throat> you have uh, about nine volts to play around uh, when you're testing the uh, diode mode so you can test uh, higher uh, higher um, forward voltage diodes and um, leds and stuff you can test white leds blue leds and stuff with these ones because there is no um, there is no voltage to illuminate the uh, led um, and put current through it uh, thus you can't test white LEDs and higher uh, forward car current uh, diodes and stuff um, I mean this is a cheap meter I bought it for um, uh, to put it in my tool bag it's slim it's a nice compromise to have um, uh, these double A's that you can buy anywhere instead of a 9 volt battery in my testing um, in years I found out that these um, AAA's run, uh, uh, run um, way longer than the, uh, those 9 volt batteries um, when you're using it you gotta replace 9 volt batteries every goddamn, goddamn time you turn off the meter I don't know why so here you go uh, by the way, <clears throat> I quickly opened up this meter the, um, and looked inside. Uh, the terminals are very, very shitty split-type terminals. 
and uh, the fuses are uh, for the milliampere there is basically no fuse uh, just a tiny surface mount 100, uh, 100 um, milliohm uh, resistor just a normal SMD resistor and for the uh, 10 amperage there's also no resistor or a shunt there's no shunt for 10 amp range and uh, how do they how they doing it is just uh, instead of a shunt there is a, a very small SMD PTC uh, fuse type device um, and that's it that's all you got but when you open it open the uh, screws from the back of it um, normally in the cheap meters as soon as you open it the whole mechanism for the um, selector switch falls off in this case it doesn't it's just a uh, clean um, uh, mounted PCB you open the cover up and uh, there's screws for the um, uh, PCB holding it down so uh, I don't know it's a it's a cool meter for eight bucks ten bucks whatever but um, keep in mind it doesn't come come with the batteries it just have this uh, stupid little box cardboard um, with these paper this is in Chinese no use for me all right it gives us some measurements accuracies and stuff uh, and with this simple instruction and the instruction doesn't talk about the uh, hidden functions that I just showed so and these cheap um, probes with the cover on them I don't know why they put the cover uh, just what's the point you just <clears throat> when you want to use the meter you want it to be non-conductive so why you put a extra plastic in the environment I don't know all right so uh, that's a quick video thanks for watching and goodbye